This program is for educational purposes only. Before starting any health or exercise related program, consult your physician. Welcome to Your Body for God with Dr. Tony Ganim. Dr. Tony is the clinical director of the Body Pro Wellness Center in Santa Ana, California. He believes that maximizing your health is critical in order to function at your best for yourself, your family, and most importantly for God. Because the Bible tells us that we were created by Him and for Him. Time to maximize your health. Here's your host, Dr. Tony Ganim. Hi and welcome to Your Body for God. This is Dr. Tony Ganim from the Body Pro Wellness Center in Orange County, California. And it's my pleasure to be with you on a weekly basis to talk about topics that would glorify God as the creator, the healer, the maker, the designer, the enhancer of the body. You do realize you're created by God, by God as his greatest creation. Well, if more people realize that, they would actually take their health as something powerful and something to retain and something to pursue rather than something to take for granted. And the Bible talks a lot about stewarding over your body, stewarding over your health, and honoring God with every cell in your body, with your heart, your mind, your soul, and your strength. And how can you honor him with all your strength if not every cell in your body is functioning at its highest capacity for God? So we take on different topics every single week to help you become healthier, to glorify God, and to function at your highest capacity for your purpose for God in this world. Life is a lot more fun, a lot more interesting, and a lot more powerful when you're functioning at your highest capacity. Last week, we talked about detoxifying the body, how to detoxify, the process of pre-toxing and detoxing and preventing retoxing. And if you're interested in listening to that show again, we're going to have it archived on our bodypro.com site where you can download all our archived shows. Well, today's show is on something that 44 million Americans have. It's called osteoporosis. 44 million is more than one out of every 10 Americans. So this is a big topic. And because it's a big topic, there's an industry out there that has a lot of money to make of it. Actually, a few industries out there that have a lot of money to make from this. See if you can guess which industries have something to make from your malady called osteoporosis. First of all, osteoporosis, for those of you who don't know, is when you have soft bones. Actually, what it means is porous bones. That's what it means. And it means that your bones are lacking the strength to carry your body. And so, as I mentioned, there are some industries out there that have noted that inside of bones you have calcium and that you need more calcium. And uh, that's what you do to strengthen the bones is to actually increase the calcium because there's calcium in bones. And so you've been told to drink milk because it does a body good. And then there's the nutritional world that feels like if you take more calcium, you know, calcium citrate or calcium lactate or um, calcium carbonate, that you're going to absorb more calcium and that things are going to be okay. And then there's the antacid world that says, you know, take Tums because it has calcium. And then finally, of course, there's the pharmaceutical world that says you need to take a medication that makes sure that you hold on to more calcium or absorb more calcium into your body. But a wise person would ask, why is there this problem with osteoporosis in the first place? Why is it that 10% of Americans have more than 10% have something going on with bone density. And a wise researcher would say, well, what is it about bone metabolism and how does it work and how do we maintain it? And so that's where I want to start with you today. The first thing I want to tell you is your bone density is not just about calcium. There's zinc, there's magnesium, there's boron, there's vitamin D, vitamin K is involved in this, vitamin A is involved in this. Lots of different things are involved in you maintaining your bone density. And I could just see it now. Somebody just pulled out a pencil and a paper and wrote down all the vitamins I said, and you're going to go out to the store and get them. But that's not the solution. The solution is actually to eat the foods that have these minerals, to eat good foods that actually have good nutrients in them in the first place. 
because the natural nutritional world is just as much after a buck as the medical world is too. And looking for a pill for every ill is not the answer. This is going to be a profound statement to some, and to some this is going to sound ridiculous. But when you have something unhealthy going on in the body, the answer is to choose to become healthy. I know that sounds very profound, I know. But unfortunately, it's not understood by many healthcare practitioners. See, when people have unhealthiness, instead of choosing to help somebody get healthy, they choose a pill. They try to find something that treats the symptom rather than the cause. And the answer when you have unhealthiness is always to pursue health, to find the cause, and to change it. And to change it primarily by lifestyle, by diet, but if necessary, by supplement. Well, how does this calcium get in the bones anyway? How does that start? Well, it starts by eating calcium. We eat calcium, and we have to digest and absorb the calcium. In order to absorb calcium, you need stomach acid. And stomach acid is something that everybody should be able to make. It's something that your stomach makes itself to help you digest proteins and help you absorb vitamins B1, B2, B6, B12, folate, zinc, iron, magnesium, manganese, calcium, phosphorus, and protein, amongst many other things like vitamin D and vitamin A as well. The point is, in order to absorb these vitamins and minerals, you need stomach acid. Now, there are some things that can stop you from making stomach acid, like stress. Stress inhibits the production of stomach acid. And so does an infection, which is very common in the United States today, called H. pylori. And this can stop you from producing adequate amounts of stomach acid, hydrochloric acid. And when you don't make enough stomach acid, hydrochloric acid, your food does not digest and it starts to rot and feed bacteria. And there are good bacteria in there and there are bad bacteria and other kinds of critters. And after a while, as it ferments the carbohydrates and putrefies proteins and rancidifies fats, you start to produce a metabolic end product called lactic acid in the stomach, which burns like crazy. And you take an antacid and you feel great afterwards, and you think, I made too much stomach acid. But in general, you don't make enough stomach acid. In general, most people who have this heartburn, this indigestion, actually don't make enough stomach acid in the first place. But you're convinced by an industry that if you take Tums, for instance, or Rolaids, and I'm not singling them out, but really just saying an antacid, that these antacids have calcium carbonate in them, and as a result, you're getting your calcium. But as I said earlier, if you take an antacid which stops you from making acid, you won't absorb calcium. And so you can take this calcium carbonate, which is nothing more than limestone or chalk, and try to absorb it, but it's not going to absorb. It's just going to come out the other end because you don't make stomach acid. It's an antacid. And stomach acid is necessary to absorb the calcium in the first place. And I know this is going to come as a shocker to you, but I think calcium is overconsumed today in our society. We eat too much calcium. We get calcium from milk products, cheese, yogurt, milk, dairy, all kinds of sources. Calcium is in so many of our foods, and we over supplement with calcium. And calcium inhibits the absorption of magnesium, and they compete with each other for absorption. And magnesium comes out on the short end, and people end up with deficiencies in magnesium. You see, magnesium comes from green vegetables, and that's something we don't eat enough of in the United States today. So we overconsume calcium, we underconsume magnesium, and a high calcium magnesium ratio is going to cause a heart rate that goes up, blood pressure to go up. It can cause your brain to continue to be active and you can't relax your mind, and it can cause lots of issues. Magnesium is one of the most common deficiencies in the United States. And did you know magnesium is necessary for bone density as well? Now, most people don't realize they have a magnesium deficiency. You see, magnesium is mostly inside the cells. And a very small percentage is actually in the blood. About 1% of the magnesium in the body is in the blood. So when a doctor performs a blood test for magnesium, 
they're only getting an idea of about 1% of the magnesium in the body. But when you see that it's low in the blood, it's really low in the body. And what I like to do is I like to keep the magnesium of my patients somewhere between 2 and 2.5. Magnesium is so important. It helps a person use blood sugar and insulin better. We have so many insulin issues these days. And just as a reminder before we go to break, zinc, boron, and many other minerals are very important as well. And these require stomach acid as well. Okay, we'll be right back. We're going to talk more about osteoporosis. Hang on tight. Coming up next, more with Dr. Tony Ganim here on Your Body for God. Stay with us. Hi, this is Dr. Tony Ganim from the Body Pro Wellness Center. God's created an amazing body and you're designed to thrive. I believe that if every cell in your body were thriving, they'd have to use fat like crazy to thrive like that. And I have hundreds of patients who live this way, burning fat and thriving. Would you like to be full of energy and burning fat at the same time? Well, I'd like to invite you to our free seminar titled Your Body for God. We'll talk about weight loss, the thyroid, metabolism, cholesterol, blood sugar, hormones, sleep, and more. We're next to Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa. It's a complete health and wellness seminar. It's God-honoring, and it's free, but seating is limited. So register now at bodypro.com or call 888-300-1888. If you've been looking for a health solution with godly principles and incredible results, then call 888-300-1888 or simply register at bodypro.com. BodyPro. Honor God, find the cause, and be blessed. Welcome back to Your Body for God. Once again, here's Dr. Tony Ganim. Hey, welcome back. This is Dr. Tony Ganim from the Body Pro Wellness Center. We just had an exercise seminar the other day, and it went fantastic. We had some attendees who learned a lot about exercise. They learned that they were maybe over-exercising and causing their body to potentially not burn fat as a result of over-exercising. We taught some great concepts. That's a class I don't do too often, but I'd like you to catch it the next time we do it. And the way you know when we have our seminars is to go to bodypro.com. At bodypro.com, we have all our seminars. We have an upcoming cleansing and detoxification seminar. Lots of people in the new year want to make sure that they cleanse out their body. My previous show was exactly on that topic, and we talked about important things like pre-toxing, detoxing the right way, and then preventing the body from reabsorbing toxins or retoxing. And so you can learn more about that by going to bodypro.com and registering for our upcoming seminar on detox. We also have weight loss seminars. We have other seminars coming up on nutrients, natural eating, and more. So log on to bodypro.com where you can also see and access our radio archives. You can also follow us on Facebook at Body Pro Wellness, one word, and on Twitter at drtonyganem, G-A-N-E-M. Before I went to break, we were talking about the importance of maintaining magnesium in the diet and not over-consuming calcium that everybody's talking about since bones contain calcium to eat so much calcium to maintain your bone density. But I'm going to actually show you that some people actually cause bone density issues by eating the source of calcium that they are eating. You see, most Americans think that they get their calcium from milk, which is a very acidic form of calcium. And then, of course, they think they get calcium from supplements, often calcium carbonate because it's the cheapest form of calcium. So they buy it because it's less expensive, or the manufacturers use calcium carbonate because it's the least expensive, but it's also the least absorbable form of calcium. But the best source of calcium, highly absorbable calcium, is in green vegetables. You know, folks, if you think about the biggest animals in the world the elephants, the giraffes, horses, big animals. How much milk drinking are they doing? How much animal protein are they consuming to maintain their massive bone structures? They're not. They're consuming lots of vegetables, lots of greens that contain highly absorbable forms of calcium. But not only do greens contain calcium, but they contain magnesium and boron and zinc and many other minerals that are so necessary for the bone structure in the first place. 
Later on in the show, I'm going to show you that acidic foods, foods that actually acidify your blood, actually cause osteoporosis to occur. But green vegetables alkalinize the body and keep your bone density and help strengthen your bone density. So I think a takeaway point is you need to decrease the amount of milk in your diet and consume more green vegetables because they're a great source of the minerals that strengthen your bone density. Ask any elephant, they'll tell you. But in order to absorb the calcium, again, you needed that stomach acid. But actually, when it comes to vegetarian or vegetable forms of calcium, you don't need the stomach acid to absorb it. And then secondly, in order to really absorb that calcium, you need good levels of vitamin D, one of the other great deficiencies in America today. You see, you get vitamin D from sunshine and from fatty foods, two things that we as Americans have been told to stay away from. Now, you only make vitamin D from sunshine if you have enough cholesterol in your blood in order to convert it to vitamin D. But you know where I'm going with this, right? So many people are trying to lower their cholesterol levels. No wonder they're having bone density issues. Because vitamin D doesn't just help you absorb the calcium in your diet, but it actually is important in actually putting the calcium into your bones. Great sources of vitamin D would include things like coconut, salmon, tuna, mushrooms, and eggs. Now, another thing that's necessary in order to get that calcium into the bones is healthy thyroid function. The thyroid gland makes a hormone called calcitonin, and it's a forgotten hormone. Lots of people don't think about it. So many people are having their thyroid gland removed or have thyroid disease and are destroying the thyroid that they lose the ability to make calcitonin. And even when your doctor replaces your thyroid with thyroid medication, they're not replacing the calcitonin, they're replacing the thyroid hormone called T4. So it shouldn't be a surprise to you that if you've had your thyroid removed or you have thyroid issues, that it might have something to do with your bone density. Okay, so up to this point we said, eat really good sources of calcium that come from green vegetables because we don't want to overdo calcium because it can cause problems and calcium isn't the only thing that's necessary to build those bones up. Magnesium is too and they compete for absorption. But you get a perfect ratio of calcium to magnesium from the very deep green vegetables like kale and broccoli and spinach and chard and things like that. You want to make sure that you don't have a stomach acid problem some sort of a bacterial issue like H. pylori, which is very common, or high stress, you want to tone down your stress and make sure that you're getting magnesium in your diet. Do not take an antacid or a proton pump inhibitor because it will affect your ability to absorb calcium along with B1, B2, B6, B12, and many others. We want to have adequate vitamin D because vitamin D is important for the placement and the pulling of the calcium from the diet and into the bones. And you want to make sure that you have proper thyroid function because it will help make the hormone that actually assists it in getting into the bones. And I've saved the best for last. The true causes of osteoporosis in America coming up after this break. Hang on tight. Coming up next, more with Dr. Tony Ganim here on Your Body for God. Stay with us. Hi, this is Dr. Tony Ganim from the Body Pro Wellness Center. God's created an amazing body and you're designed to thrive. I believe that if every cell in your body were thriving, they'd have to use fat like crazy to thrive like that. And I have hundreds of patients who live this way, burning fat and thriving. Would you like to be full of energy and burning fat at the same time? Well, I'd like to invite you to our free seminar titled Your Body for God. We'll talk about weight loss, the thyroid, metabolism, cholesterol, blood sugar, hormones, sleep, and more. We're next to Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa. It's a complete health and wellness seminar. It's God-honoring, and it's free, but seating is limited. So register now at bodypro.com or call 888-300-1888. If you've been looking for a health solution with godly principles and incredible results, then call 888-300-1888 or simply register at bodypro.com. BodyPro, honor God, find the cause, and be blessed.
Welcome back to Your Body for God. Once again, here's Dr. Tony Gannam. Welcome back to Your Body for God. This is Dr. Tony Gannam. Before we went to break, we were talking about calcium and all the other nutrients that are necessary and the different functions that are necessary in order to get the calcium from the diet into the bloodstream and into the bones. In addition to the things that I've mentioned, vitamin A is necessary for bone metabolism. Vitamin D, we just said, was very necessary. Vitamin K is very necessary. You know, the three things that I just mentioned right there, vitamin D, E, and K, are fat-soluble vitamins. They come from fats, but you know that most Americans are trying to avoid fats because fats make you fat. And that's not true, and I want to talk about that in coming weeks. I want to make sure that you understand that fats actually don't make you fat. Fats happen to be the same word as that thing around your midsection, but they're two different things. And I mentioned we were going to talk about the number one cause of bone density issues in the United States from the research that I have done. Let's start with the understanding that bones contain the most amount of calcium in the body, that that is a storage depot for a lot of calcium in your body. And calcium is a wonderful buffering solution for acidic blood. I'll say that in a different way. Our diets are very acidic. High-protein diets are very acidic. But in addition to that, anything that makes your blood very acidic will cause your body to release calcium from the storage places, bones, and buffer out the acidity of your blood. So lots of people end up with bone density issues because they have high protein diets that are very acidic, blood sugar problems that cause ketoacidosis, which is an acidic condition. Inflammation in the body is a very acidic process, and inflammation produces a chemical called interleukin-6, which can also be produced with stress and lack of sleep, and female hormone imbalance, and many autoimmune diseases like Hashimoto's thyroiditis and rheumatoid arthritis. These processes all release interleukin-6, and interleukin-6 causes the body to release calcium out of the bones into the blood. Do you remember that profound statement I made at the beginning of this talk? I said that when somebody has a lack of health, the treatment for that is to actually pursue health. But unfortunately, most people are not looking for what it takes to be healthy when they're unhealthy, when they have osteoporosis, when they have hormone issues. They're actually looking for the magic pill that takes that away. So I want you to know that the secret to finding out the why behind your osteoporosis is to actually do the testing to find out what it is that's causing your osteoporosis. In my office, when I meet with somebody who wants me to deal with their situation, find out why they might be having osteoporosis, I do a full history. I try to get an understanding of all the things that are going on with their body that might be causing the osteoporosis. And then I look at their blood chemistry and their diet, get an idea of the different mechanisms that are going on behind this person's health that are, might be causing a symptom called osteoporosis and enhancing their health so that they function at the highest level possible and their body changes their bone density. Because the secret to an unhealthy process is to find its cause and help the body become healthy. Don't ever settle for anything less than that. Remember, medical science is at an all-time high in its ability to figure things out. But reimbursement from insurance companies is at an all-time low in its willingness to pay. And there's somebody in the gap who's being affected by this, and that's you. So finding the answer is really up to you. If you want to figure it out, unfortunately, insurance generally doesn't pay for all the processes to figure out what's going on with your health, but it's a wise stewardship to figure that out. It's only your life, right? Never settle. Never settle. Get the answer. Okay, other things that cause osteoporosis, and let's close this uh, talk and dialogue by talking about some medications that actually can cause osteoporosis. Some of the aluminum-containing antacids that we've mentioned already. Anti-seizure medications like dilantin, phenylbarbital, aromatase inhibitors, things that generally males take to prohibit or inhibit their testosterone from converting to estrogen. 
which, by the way, is one of the reasons why males gain fat, is sometimes their testosterone is converting to estrogen, which is a fat-promoting hormone. Cancer chemotherapies can often cause osteoporosis. Uh, Heparin, lithium, methotrexate, proton pump inhibitors like Nexium and Prevacid and Prilosec and some SSRIs, some medications like Lexapro and Prozac and Zoloft and steroids, steroids like uh, cortisone, dexamethasone, um, prednisone, uh, even bug creams and preparation H can have cortisones inside of it that can actually cause bone density issues. Tamoxifen and um, thyroid hormone in excess can actually do this too, as we talked about a moment ago with the condition called Hashimoto's, which is by far the most common autoimmune issue I see in my office. So many people have thyroid issues and they don't even know it. And according to the Endocrine Society, somewhere on the order of 80 to 90% of people who have thyroid issues actually have this autoimmune process going on that no one is even checking for in the first place. So let's summarize. The first thing is you need a really good source of calcium, one that's not too acidic, so avoid that milk. And eat the green vegetables that not only have a more absorbable form of calcium, but also have the magnesium and the zinc and the wonderful things that are necessary to also build the bone structure. And it keeps that calcium to magnesium ratio right, which lets you feel well, keeps your blood pressure down, keeps your mind sharp, keeps you from blood sugar problems. Make sure you're eating sources of vitamin D, like coconut oil, making sure that you don't have any kind of stomach acid problem and that you don't take antacids and that you don't take cholesterol-reducing medications unless your doctor has completely directed that you have to because cholesterol reduction can actually inhibit your vitamin D levels and that can stop you from making bones. And that your thyroid is healthy so that you can make sure that you are making that calcitonin that gets the calcium in the bones and that you don't have some sort of inflammatory process going on like stress and lack of sleep and blood sugar problems and and um, acidic diets. And if you have any of those things, finding the answer and correcting it. That's the secret to strengthening your bone density, stopping your body from leaching calcium, and becoming stronger. For more information or to find out what's going on with your bone density, contact us at the Body Pro Wellness Center at 888-300-1888. God bless you. You've been listening to Your Body for God with Dr. Tony Gannam, a doctor of chiropractic and a certified holistic nutritionist. To learn more about Dr. Tony's free nutritional health and weight loss seminars, go to bodypro.com. That's bodypro.com. The views and opinions expressed on today's program are those of Dr. Tony Gannam's and not meant to take the place of your doctor's advice. Your Body for God with Dr. Tony Gannam is sponsored by the Body Pro Wellness Center.